This is a nice wolf's mask. We're going to cover this in a copper conductive, uh, sorry, conductive paint. Um, what the conductive paint will do is allow the free floating copper ions in the plating tank to attach themselves here. And <clears throat> what it will do over time is it will grow copper over this entire surface. So you will get uh, a coating very much like seen on this mask. Um, but before we can do that, we have to wire it. And when we're working with a large form like this, we want to wire it strategically. So I've uh, made some wire windings and what I'm going to do is use CA glue to attach wire in key areas. And these key areas is where your plate's going to start to grow. So when you attach a wire, uh, plan strategically um, so you can get the maximum coverage of, of your initial plate of copper in the least amount of time. So I'm going to get that uh, set up. Um, same process here. This is a uh, sculpture. It's made out of some sort of uh, plastic. Um, we're going to strategically place uh, wire in and around this and coat it with a uh, conductive paint. Um, so I will get this started as well and we will go from there. Um, took about an hour. Um, we have wire all along the perimeter here and in the eyes. For this one, um, I got a little bit lazy. I got one around the bottom, uh, one at the mouth here, some at the arm branches, and one at the top. So, after we paint it with conductive, um, the copper is going to grow from where this copper is right now, and it's going to grow outward and then hopefully get the, the most coverage in the least amount of time. Um, and once it's completely covered, you just add some more current and it plates up really well. This is the tedious part where I take this uh, graphite paint and slowly paint the mask. Um, I can use spray. Um, I'm not because of the grooves. And if you miss the grooves with a spray, uh, sometimes it'll start to peel and laminate. So I'm just going to use this. It takes a little bit longer, but I can be assured of a, a really good and uh, consistent plate. Yeah, I'm same with this guy right here. Uh, I'm just going to use this and uh, paint it. Um, it's not a terribly exciting process, so I doubt if we need to really get into the, the particulars about applying paint. But yeah, we just want to give it full coverage. This is a conductive paint. Um, prior videos have recipes on how to make this paint. Um, it's great because what it does is it, it uh, actually shrinks and it's actually a good sealant. Um, and when we're making a conductive paint, you want a, uh, a binder that, that does that, that shrinks because it takes those uh, graphite particles and brings them closer together, allowing more current to travel through it, so uh, lower resistance the longer it cures. So after we paint this, it's going to take about uh, 24 hours, or at least the next day, and, until we stick it in, in the tank. And because we have these contact points here, 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 and here, and here, um, this will play relatively quickly, and then we can turn on the, uh, the full lamp coverage for this seven maybe um, and then it's just simply a matter of doing um, thickness so I will proceed with painting these little guys and I will get back to you shortly okay we are done the painting um, still got to dry a little bit of touch up here and there but we got uh, both items uh, completely coated in conductive uh, paint um, we're just going to let it cure for about uh, 12 to 24 hours and then in the tank they go. Right. Um, so I took the tree I painted, I actually stuck it in the tank uh, last night. So it's been in here for about, uh, about 16 hours.
Right, here you go. This is what it looks like. It looks pretty sick. Now I'm going to be adding some uh, liver of sulfur uh, patina solution to give it that aged look. And then I'll probably buff the high points out. Um, but yeah, this is uh, what you can do with some uh, good conductive paint and uh, uh, a sculpture and uh, just a modest sized uh, hobby electric form. This is our wolf mask. Right now it's uh, graphite black. Um, we glued wire around the perimeter and we got some uh, other wire here too. Uh, it's a large surface area and my 10 amp rectifier might not uh, do this so I'll have to jump up to the 25. Um, the wire I'm using uh, is actually rated for, for 10 amp. Um, it's barely going to go over 10 amp but I'd like to double up on the uh, the wire here. Um, I use shielded wire in the tank uh, as much as I can because you can always uh, reuse the wire. Um, exposed wire I use uh, primarily um, in areas you can't see so the conductive paint has something to grow from. So it's really an anchor. So you can get the most wire around here without disrupting the aesthetic. Um, it'll plate a lot faster. This one's going to be weird because it's really large, so we're just going to drop it in the tank. And it's going to float. But that's okay for now. Um, I'll have to do some adjustments. Now, if we're really lucky, I can get this thing positioned in a way we can actually uh, see it being plated. But this is actually going to plate up really fast. You got to start off with a really low current. Um, as the surface area of copper grows, so does your current until you reach the calculated current requirement for your form. Um, once you get to that point, um, then you can calculate the amount of mill thickness or, or just build up um, for every hour of plating in an optimal condition. Um, so I'm going to let that uh, rest for a while. I'll probably do some uh, adjustments to it and then uh, we'll take another look. Pull the copper mask out of the tank. This is the wolf mask. Oh, look at that. Is that a blue nice? We do have some uh, areas here which could probably use some more plating, but I have a really tiny tank. Um, this is really cool. I quickly wash this and myself off. All right, <clears throat> check this out. Um, this is our uh, tree sculpture. Uh, we did this in the tank for about uh, 20 hours. Um, came out uh, really, really nice. Check this out. Um, this is our wolf's mask. Uh, same process. Uh, wire around here. It does need some finishing work. But hello. Okay. Um, this is right out of the tank. Um, this is the wolf mask. Uh, what we did earlier was we uh, did a perimeter wire wrap um, and around the eyes and then wired them. Uh, we then used the paint we made on a prior episode uh, to completely uh, coat this. And uh, then we threw this in my embarrassingly small uh, electroforming tank. And after uh, many, many hours, uh, we got this plate. <clears throat> um, so with a 10 amp rectifier, you can actually uh, make something like this. 
<clears throat> it was a bit tricky and it, it's not necessarily a, a uniform plate here um, and there are technical reasons for that a lot of it has to do with uh, tank size and, and amperage um, <clears throat> but generally it came out really well so after I uh, after this I'm going to add a uh, patina to it um, which is going to give it uh, a lot of contrast and then do a light polish to bring up these high points, so it's going to look really, uh, really sick. Um, <clears throat> and this is the uh, the tree. Uh, we wired this uh, here and a couple points here and here, um, and we got the the copper to grow all the way around this. It looks really cool. Um, we're going to add a uh, again a patina to it, and when we get back, um, it's going to look uh, really, really uh, cool. So do that right now all right there you have it um, this I added some uh, patina um, and it's just uh, drying right now so <clears throat> what a patina does is it uh, artificially ages uh, the copper um, copper over time oxidizes and creates its own natural patina depending on what environment uh, it's in um, for this, I was going for more of a, a dark brown aesthetic with uh, copper as a high point. So when I finish this, um, it's going to be a, a lot more shinier, um, and then I have to make it into a, a mask um, and, and fit some some thingies here. So um, that's a whole big project for me waiting to happen. And this is our, our little tree guy. Um, check that out. So he's all copper, um, again, uh, with a brown aesthetic, um, just to add more of the uh, aged look to uh, for, for bark. Uh, I'm going to do some work with this, uh, lighten up the sides, and then I'm going to put a, a light in the bottom there, and uh, it will glow. So um, these two things you can make in a 10-gallon uh, tank with a 10-amp rectifier using the paint I showed in a previous episode. So. Um, if you like stuff like this, uh, please uh, visit my website, comaker.ca, uh, like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.